Good morning, everyone. Thanks for watching again. My name is Ola, and uh, I'm back to to continue the video stream, the video series of uh, how to do some basic things on AfriSAMS School ERP. Now I've I've shown us some some basics. And uh, this series is going to continue for a while because we have over 100 modules, over 100 modules that we need to show users on how to do what. Okay, so today we are going to continue with the basic settings. You can see we have at least 11 major modules in the in the basic settings institute management dashboard i've shown us how to set institute, institute details i later showed us how to set your sub institute your sub institute and your branches and then i i went through the master setup to introduction to the master setup so today i'm going to do more on the master setup now the master setup is where you set your major modules the major uh, uh, parameters that you will be using in your processes okay you do this once and you don't need to do it again okay that is the master setup and then you set your years where your session in some cases some people call it session where you can create your your session and then uh, assign a default session to your to your to your platform okay you can change your session when you move to next session you just you just need to do is come here and change it okay your department because it's we our application range ranges across to higher institution so we name it department but however take out your department as categories where you have your nursery primary secondary um you can have your um your coaching coaching you can make it coaching center you can call it any name okay you can make it for example coaching center and create new okay then when it comes to colleges and co you can now name it the proper department as we know it in the in the colleges your department might be mathematical sciences mathematical sciences for example okay then you create just like that you can see department of uh, biochemistry department of biochemistry biochemistry now we are in the higher institution okay copy under element of biochemistry sorry So this is how you manage your department. So your department is just like your categories. When it comes to primary and basic education, your departments are your nursery school, your pre-KG, your primary school, your, your secondary school, junior secondary and senior secondary, kindergarten and high school. Well, of course, secondary and high school is the same thing. All right. So this is just for the purpose of a demonstration. Then your standards. Your standards are your classes. In some countries, they use standard. In here, in uh, Nigeria, you have it like your class, and uh, some people still use this standard in South Africa and so on. So your your standard is your your class streams, like your primary one, your primary two, your KG one, your KG two, your hundred level, your two hundred level, your three hundred level, your your pre degree. You, you can add those as standards under your in your platform okay for example let's go to primary let's change our our department to primary so that you can see the standards okay so that you can see the standards that we have here now if you decide to go to biochemistry there's no you can have your pre-degree you can create a 
let's create a new standard for for under biochemistry uh let's just say um let's say on the level We may not had we may not had the subject for now just create standard you can always add subjects later and add your your hundred level classroom the rooms in hundred level later all right and you can create your group subject group type your subject group type now this app is useful when you have um for example your 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 department or your category is primary school and you know that you have primary 1A, primary 1B, primary 1C, and primary 1D. And you know, by standard, all these classrooms are having the same subjects. The only thing that differs is their timetable, but they all attend, they all write the same subject. You can create a subject group. You can create a subject group, and then you go to master subject group, and create a subject group for such, for such classes create a subject group for such classes okay here you create new classrooms you no know, you can create new classroom by coming to create new classroom and you select your your, your classroom primary one hey maybe your new classroom name is um, the standard is primary one your new classroom is primary primary one F, E, if you have up to E, then you can display the my one key. Primary one key. Okay. The color code, the system automatically assigns color. You don't need to change that. Is a public you can set it as private, public, or paid classroom. Just leave it as public. Student capacity. How many students do you want the to the classroom to take? Let's say 25 students in the class. The teachers, you can select your teacher, uh, maybe demo teacher one. Okay, then you create new classroom. When you create your new classroom, it will be assigned here. You can see primary one E, your teacher is demo teacher one, and you can now assign your, your subject to it. You can assign subjects, you click here and click subjects, and you go and assign subjects to your classroom. For example, we already have su subjects selected here. So, and then the subjects are automatically assigned because we already assigned a, a, these subjects to the standard. We already assigned the subject to the to the standard itself primary one students have this subject so anybody irrespective of the classroom automatically have this subject you understand except your your otherwise stated your institution has a different approach the best standard is what we are using for this demo anybody every student in primary one for example at have the same courses the same subjects they do they might be in different classes but they are, have the same subject. So that's how you create your, your subject. You can add new subject to the, to the primary one subject by creating new subject. Now you create new subject standard, you can't change it. A subject name might be, might be uh, life sciences, for example. Then you can say your short code is LS. You can use the first letters, compulsory subject, or you can say elective subject this time. You click create new subject. Our application is so easy to use, you will see it. So if you go to standards you and go to subjects, it is at, your subject is assigned to the standards. Then if you go to classrooms now, you will see that the every classroom is having the subject you have already assigned. For example, class one, primary one A. If you view the subjects now, you will see that it's having life sciences, but it's an elective course okay you can set it up you can set it up 
by as assigning students that will take the course, the course. Now, it is showing set up because it's elective. So you can decide to assign to learners that, that apply for the, for the course. So you can select them. Let's say learners, demo students, those are the ones that assign them. The, um, the teacher is demo teacher to teach the subject, or you can say two meleng, maybe two teachers are assigned, then you can edit subject. All right, so we can see now that the life sciences is set up. It's an elective course, and the students are assigned. So that's it. Then the groups, the groups is for for those that are doing for in high schools, for for example, learners that are having um, study groups, or they are grouped by laboratory teachers. For example, especially those that are doing um, practicals, practicals. So you can create groups for practicals, for example, for subject lab practicals. So you can say uh, group A, I just say group A, description, um, chemistry students, is for students, okay? Then you create new group. You can create another group, group B, maybe for physics students, for example, group B. You will need these groups to assign laboratory usage, subject lab usage for physics students. Okay? You will need these groups in future, so you can create, but if you don't need it, if you don't have learners that need it, there's no problem. It's not compulsory physics. Physics students, it's for students, you create group. Okay. Okay, group is already as added for students, sorry. So you can now do for um, for faculties, but we don't need that, so. Okay, then we master subject group. You can add master subject group. Okay. For example, master subject. If you want to book add subject, let's say primary one, primary one subjects. You can create subject group here and select all the subjects and create group. Okay. This is how you create your master subject group. It's, it's used to add subjects in bulk to a particular group of uh, students. Then you have your subject labs. Your subject labs is your, for example, the laboratory that I said maybe for high school now, let's say senior secondary school. Your subject lab is for senior secondary school. Okay, we don't have a standard there. Let's quickly create a standard for uh, senior secondary schools. Let's go to senior secondary schools. Let me quickly create a class for senior secondary school. Okay, I've created um, classes and a classroom for your standard, which is senior secondary school one, SS1. You select it, you select the job, let's say the subject, let's say chemistry, you fetch subject labs. Now, we don't have subject labs yet, you have to create. So let's create subject labs. Let's create subject lab for the department is senior secondary. For your standard is secondary one. For your subject is we are creating chemistry. Okay, you create new. You can add students. You can add students um, lab name, CHM lab one. Duration is, let's say, 45 one hour. Okay, you can have your one hour, say okay. One hour, capacity of students, let's say is 15 students, is active, faculty, um, you, you can say uh, sciences, okay, um, okay, there's no students, hold on, let's add students to Okay, I want to quickly bulk add students into, um, let's say, 
and Jane Jane Cook Robert Perry Stu Stood one okay stood two okay let's say stood three let's draw that down let's auto fill let i want to add like 15 students okay fine uh the mobile of course let's say let me use my mobile okay um let me copy and paste and paste and paste sorry okay then gr number which is your general registration number you can just use for example we are in 2020 depending on your school we are in the month of may and then this learner is learner number 34 okay we can add this 35 let's say copy and uh, doesn't matter this is for demo purpose but the numbers might change but uh, i'm just adopting this this format in case you don't have any format before all right and uh, the other thing that is compulsory here okay is the three if you are book uploading this is the three things that are very compulsory for you okay so let's save it make sure you know the part you are saving it to i'm saving it on my desktop Okay, and uh, I'm saving it on my desktop. Of course, I know the name. I'm saving it on my desktop. Let's take note of, take note of the name so that in case you have other things on your desktop. Okay, so you can minimize and come back to the application. You now go to upload sheet. Upload sheet. Upload sheet. Okay, how I got here is from user management. You select students. I'm trying to add students to the senior secondary school. You select your students and you go to actions. When you go to action, you select add box students. Add box students. Then you download the sheet. The particular sheet I filled now, you have to download it because we have our template. All right? So you fill it and save it. Then you upload the sheet. You click upload sheet. You say you navigate to where you saved it. Remember our student is student. Okay, you look for faculty sheet, student sheet three. That's the name. Student sheet three. You open it. Alright, you can see check alerted boxes below. Now the problem is because we have the same number. It's, you can't have the same number for all students. So I have to I have to delete the numbers for the purpose of this demo so that we won't be delayed. Let me delete the numbers. Okay. So that I can import for the purpose of the demo. Let's delete the numbers. You can edit here. You can always edit. You can bulk edit. Okay. Now I will be fine now. I am fine. So select the year, select the senior secondary, select your classroom. We are adding them to SS1A. All right. You want to send SMS? No. If you want, yes. You want to send welcome email? Yes. If you have put any email, it will send welcome email. Then you import students. It's uploading students' data. You can see. You will import students. All right. So if you come here and to check your students, user management students you will see the students that i just added now senior secondary all classrooms get users you will see them can you see jane cook roberts you can see the students i just added now okay so we cannot go back to our subject labs we can go back to our subject lab let's select senior secondary senior secondary one let's say we are having a fat chemistry chemistry lab you fetch it will show nothing because you have not assigned we need to create a lab and assign students to the lab so we come back to our lab you say we can say chemistry lab one 
your duration is okay. Capacity of students, let's say 25 students, active, select your faculty. Of course, there's none, add students. Okay. Okay, yeah, because um, we don't have a teacher assigned to these classes. So we need to quickly go back to user management again. You go to your faculties. We need to add teachers to this particular um, department. All right, you go to actions. You go to add book faculties. The same thing. Um, you download the Excel sheet. You open it. You open the Excel sheet. Okay. Um, now we we have to add teachers. So let's say demo teacher. You can see demo demo teacher two. Okay. So demo teacher three. Then we have to fill. Just need I just need like ten teachers again or fifteen. Doesn't matter. 15 teachers, then, okay, we already have demo teacher one. They are mobile. Um, for now, for the purpose of this, let's, let's just type something here. It's compulsory field, but it's, I disabled the authentication, so it will accept this for the, for, the, for the purpose of the demo. But in real life, you have to put proper numbers. If not, the system won't affect, accept it. You must put proper number format okay save us you go to your desktop take note of the name faculty sheet one let's save okay so we can go back to the system and upload sheet you go to faculty sheet one just type faculty faculty sheet one oh we have two faculty sheet ones okay We upload our sheets. Uh, let's verify the name. We verify the name properly. Faculty sheet one. Okay. You can see the system is complaining. The number length. Let's have repeated it before. You can repeat numbers. Let's delete that. For the purpose of this demo. The system does not allow you to repeat numbers. So we assign this to every Sam's um, senior secondary. We want them to be in senior secondary school, not junior secondary. Um, let's say secondary schools. Or we can assign them to, for the purpose of the demo, let's just assign them, assign all the teachers to all the schools so that we can have resources to use. So you import faculties. Import your faculties. Okay. You. Are there other ones that we need to remove? Oh, no. Import faculties. Okay, we import faculties now. Okay, this existing. The system does not allow you to import double numbers. That's why we are having the conflicts. The numbers must be unique because it's number phone numbers that you use to log in. So we are importing the faculties now so that we can set up our lab and then we are done for this video. Yes, it's successful now. We go back to your user rights management to verify the faculties. You uploaded, um, you, you get your users.
you will see the faculties you uploaded. Of course, your faculties are your teachers. Do not forget, they are the teaching academic staff. Okay, so we have all of them set already. So we cannot go back to our subject labs. We can go back to our subject labs, select and uh, let's see, mathematics, let's see, chemistry, fetch labs. We have not created any lab, so let's create lab. Let's create labs. Okay, let's say chemistry, CHM lab, CHM lab one, 25 students, faculty, hold on please, chemistry, okay, we have not assigned teacher, okay, we need to quickly assign, assign teachers to subjects, so you go to your standard and click your teachers and there uh, you assign teachers to subjects okay so these are the learners in the class sort of your subjects compulsory your faculty is demo teacher Demo teacher one, edit subject. Okay. You have to assign teachers to subjects, so demo teacher two. Don't go sleep. You're not feeling fine. Okay, so you create our subject lab. We have set up our subjects, subject labs, so that we can fetch. We have one, then we'll create another one. Let's say physics lab. Let's say we are creating physics now for which of physics, and we now say physics, physics lab. Capacity of students, let's say 25 active you add your students all the students in that class attend it you add selected students and you create the lab okay so when you fetch your lab again you will see your subject labs you have your physics labs you have your chemistry lab and then you can create as many labs as you want right that's how you do it your chemistry lab now it will show if you start for physics lab and get it will show physics lab physics all right so you can click your lab to edit and see the number of students that are there and you can edit the number of students 
all right you can increase and you can work around the number of students after changing you can remove students or add students then you can update your lab okay in the next video i'm going to show you how to set user management rights management and book registration rights management book registration trash and your global imports thank you for watching god bless you bye